good morning dear students welcome everyone to this mathematics session of class 3 today we are going to learn unit 12 handling data dear students in this lesson you will learn to understand and interpret a pictograph and you will also learn to understand and interpret a bar graph interpret is to explain the meaning of some information here is a model of a pictograph and a model of a bar graph we will learn in detail about the pictograph and bar graph in the upcoming slides before we move on to that i would like to ask you a question would you like your house to be in a mess with all things scattered on the floor or would you like to see your bookshelf with your books and your sister's books mixed up no one would like to have it in that way so to have a neat and a presentable look of your house the things have to be arranged or organized if you have to pick up your books from the shelf or your sister has to pick up her her books from the shelf the books have to be sorted out according to the classes and they have to be well organized anything which is well organized is easy to handle so that is what we are going to learn in this lesson about handling data what is data data is information like we have some information in this pictograph about fruits handling data is how we represent the information organized data is very easy to interpret so always any data any information which is put up in a well organized manner is very easy to interpret dear children now this is a list this is a recap of what you have studied last year a list helps us to organize information about things so a list also helps us to organize information any information about different things here let us see what this list represents this list shows the amount four students spent at the school canteen fill in the last column and answer the questions here there are four students names given anita basil chetan dilnas and the amount they spent on three days is given we have to find the total amount the last column has to be filled up first let us check for anita she has spent 10 rupees on monday in the school canteen on tuesday she has spent 15 rupees on wednesday nothing is spent so 10 plus 15 is 25 rupees so she has spent totally 25 rupees in 3 days now basil he has spent 10 rupees on monday on tuesday he has spent 25 rupees on wednesday 10 rupees is spent so total amount is 10 plus 25 is 35 35 plus 10 is 45 so totally he has spent 45 rupees next chetan chetan has spent 15 rupees on monday 20 rupees on tuesday and 20 rupees on wednesday so the total amount is when we add these three amounts 10 rupees 15 rupees plus 20 rupees plus 20 rupees we get 55 rupees next is dilnas dilnas spent nothing on monday on tuesday she spent 15 rupees on wednesday she has spent again 15 rupees so when we add these two amounts we get 30 rupees so these are the total amounts spent by these four students now let us answer these questions which are given the first question is who spent the most so when we look at the look at the amount we can see that chetan has spent the amount most amount so it is chetan he spent the most next question how much did basil spend on tuesday now let us let us check basil's amount spent on monday is 10 rupees on tuesday the question is on tuesday on tuesday he has spent 25 rupees so the answer is 25 rupees basil has spent on tuesday 
The third question is how much more did Chetan spend than Dilna's? Now the Chetan's amount is 55 rupees and Dilna's how much she has spent? 30 rupees. So how much more has Chetan spent than Dilna's? To get how much more or how much less we have to subtract. So 55 minus 30 will give you 25 rupees more has, has Chetan spent than Dilna's. So this is how we represent the information in the form of a list and we are able to answer the questions which are given. Dear children, we will learn about pictograph now. Pictograph, what is a pictograph? Pictograph uses pictures or symbols to show numbers and represent information. So this is a pictograph which is shown on the screen. In this pictograph, you can find the names are given and the marks obtained. These two are the headings which are given. The title of the pictograph or this pictograph, it shows some data, some information. What is the information that will be shown with the help of a title? The title is marks obtained by six students in max exam out of 100. So, this is the information which is put up in the form of a pictograph. So, there are six students' names and their marks, how many marks they have scored in the maths exam out of 100 are represented here. Now, under this, all, all these names, you can find the key, a star. It One star represents 10 marks. So, now we will understand the pictograph. And first, after understanding the pictograph, we will then we will learn how to interpret it. Interpret it means here there are a few questions given. We will try to find the answer of this by understanding the pictograph. So the first child, Sara, the first student, Sara, straight to her name, there are, you can count the number of stars, nine stars are given. According to the key which is given below, each star, that is one star represents 10 marks. So, Sara has 9 stars, so 90 marks. So, 9 into 10 is 90 marks. Sara's marks out of 100 is 90 marks. Now, Zara, Zara has 2 stars. So, she has got 20 marks. 10 marks each star and so she has got 20 marks. Next is Ali. Ali has got 5 stars. So, he has scored 50 marks. Mary. Mary has 10 stars. So, 10 tens are is 100. So, she has scored full marks. Next is Gabriel. Gabriel has 6 stars. So, 6 tens are 60 marks. Gabriel has scored 60 marks. Next, Ahmed. Ahmed has also 6 stars. So, he has also scored 60 marks. Now, we have understood by reading the data which is given in the pictograph. Let us answer the questions which are given. The first question is, how many marks did Ali get? Now, let us check Ali's number of stars. So, there are 5 stars which are given for Ali. So, 5 tens are is 50. So, Ali has scored. How many marks did Ali get? 50 marks. Second question, who got 100 out of 100 marks? Here, the full score is obtained by Mary. Mary has got 10 stars. So, 10 tens are is 100. So, it's Mary. Question number 3, how many more marks did Sara score than Zara? So, we have to check the marks of Sara and Zara and then we have to compare Compare means here Sara has scored more number of stars. So, how many stars? 9 stars. And Zara has only 2 stars. So, first let us see the scores of Sara and Zara. Sara's score is 90 marks. Zara's is 2 stars. So, it is 20 marks. So, 90 minus 20 will give you 70 more marks Sara has scored than Zara. This is the answer of third one. 
question number 4 who got 10 less than 100 marks now when we have a look at all these number of stars sara has 9 stars and 10 stars means it is 100 marks so 9 stars means it is 1 less star 1 less star means 10 less marks so who got 10 less than 100 marks it is sara who has got 90 marks so 100 minus 90 is 10 so sara has got 10 less marks now question number 5 name the student who got 60 marks in the exam so now name the student who has got 60 mark in the exam we have two students here gabriel also has six stars and ahmed also has six stars so gabriel and ahmed both have scored 60 marks Question number 6, who scored the least marks in the test? Now when we have a look at this pictograph, we can see the number of, the least number of stars are given for Zara, only 2 stars. So she has got only 20 marks. The answer for the 6th question is Zara because she has scored the least marks in the test. So this is children, this is how you understand the pictograph. First read the pictograph, understand it. And then try to find the answers for the questions which are asked. Now children, let us collect some information. And let us represent the information we collected in the bar graph. So before we learn what is a bar graph, first of all let us collect some data or any information and then represent that information in a bar graph. Now the information what I am going to collect is the activity you love the most while you are at home. So there are some children who like sleeping, there are some children who like reading or studying or learning your lessons. Then there are some children who love to eat. Next is praying and then this is the last one is second last is playing. These are the activities and then finally we have this activity which children, some children love to do at home. This is helping your parents, your mom in washing like dusting or any small activities which will help your mom. Now these activities you do at home and the number of children who like to do these activities, we will get the information from the different students like suppose there are some children who love sleeping like i take eight children like to sleep next 10 children love to eat 12 children like playing six children like praying eight children like sleeping then helping your mom four children like to do this activity so I have collected this activity and now in the next slide we will put this information or represent this information in a bar graph. Now children let us learn what is a bar graph. A bar graph uses bars to represent data. This is a bar graph. The complete picture shown is a bar graph. And now this bar graph consists of these tall bars which represent the data or the information which we had collected in the previous slide is put up in the form of these bars. This bar graph has a title. This is the title of the bar graph. What information you are representing? That is the title. Activity you enjoy the most at home. This is the title of the bar graph. Here this is called as the as the vertical scale so on the vertical scale we have taken the numbers 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 so this vertical scale it represents the number of children so how many children like different activities so that is represented that is taken that is the number of children is taken along the vertical scale this is the vertical scale and now here you can find this is the horizontal scale. 
So, all along the horizontal scale, we have taken the activities that is activity you love or you enjoy. So, the activities, different activities we saw in the previous slide are eating, playing, learning, praying, helping, sleeping. So, these are the activities which are put up along the horizontal scale. So, remember in a bar graph, you have a horizontal scale and a vertical scale. So, along the vertical scale here, we have taken number of children and along the horizontal scale, we have taken the activity you enjoy the most and then the title of the bar graph is also given. So, this is how a information, any information is represented in the form of a bar graph. Now, dear students, we know what is a bar graph and we also know how an information is represented on a bar graph. Now, let us read the bar graph, understand it and answer the questions that are given beside. First of all, let us read the bar graph. When we look at the bar graph, we can see that the tall bars represent the number of children who enjoy different activities. The first activity, eating, is enjoyed by 10 students. And the next activity, playing, is enjoyed by 12 students. The third activity, learning, is enjoyed by 10 students. Praying is enjoyed by 6 students. And helping is, is enjoyed by 4 children. Sleeping is enjoyed by 8 children. Now, let us answer the questions which are given beside. Which activity do most number of children enjoy? The answer for this question, most number of children enjoy which activity? That is shown by the tallest bar. Here the tallest bar is for the activity playing. So, playing is the activity which is enjoyed by most number of children. The second question is which activity do least number of children enjoy? Least number of children is shown by which activity shows the least number of children enjoy? That is the shortest bar. That is helping. Helping is the answer for second question. Which Third question. Which are the activities enjoyed by equal number of children? So, this is shown by the two bars which are of the same length. So, eating is enjoyed by 10 children as well as learning is enjoyed by 10 children. So, these two activities are equally liked by the same number of children. So, eating and learning is the answer of third one. Fourth question, how many children enjoy learning more than sleeping? So, here we have to compare learning and sleeping. So, learning is enjoyed by 10 students and sleeping is enjoyed by 8 children. So, the difference will give you how many more children love to uh, learn that is 10 minus 8 will give you 2 children. So, 2 children enjoy learning more than sleeping. The last question is how many children enjoy helping their parents? So, helping their parents is here. So, when we read it along this line, we can find that 4 children enjoy helping their parents. So, the answer is 4 children. Now, this is how we read the bar graph, understand it and we will be able to answer the questions. Dear students, complete this homework in the textbook itself. So, this is the homework to be done in the textbook. Page number 198, exercise 12a, question number 1, question number 2. Page number 200, exercise 12b, question number 1. Page number 201, chapter checkup, question number 2, question number 3. Complete this in your textbook itself.